Yo, what's poppin', folks? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you guys are new to the channel, you better smash that subscribe button, man. Put some bangers every single week, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, and also hit that notification bell right next to it. YouTube's been a little weird lately, so be sure to press that thing and smash that like button. Well, today, I'm here with my boys. We got A-Dub fishing right there. Hey, boy. What up? Let me get a little focus what going. Up? There we go. What and then we got old Fishing with Norm right there. If you guys want to check out their channels, I'll leave them in the description box below. So, guys, what are you guys doing, man? I'm trying to get a massage. Trying to get a massage, bro. man. What you doing? So, what are we doing today, Norm? Where, where, where uh, are we Santa's at? Santa's at Bass Pro Shop, so we're here to visit Santa, right? <laughs> Santa actually is. Dude, will you go sit on his lap, bro? I will not. Please go sit on I'm Santa's honestly, lap. Honestly, I'm kind of scared. Can you sit on Santa's lap? Wait, For 10,000 subscribers? Yes. Wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. For 10,000? For 10,000 more than I already have. Oh, not come on, 10, bro. To hit 10,000. Okay, hold no, on, hold on. I can do that, man. Adam, oh. I will go sit in Santa's lap with you, but it has to be a, it has to be a, a two-man deal. <laughs> Are you guys gonna do it? I'm, dude, I'm not doing it by myself. He Come on, scares bro. me, honestly. Well, anyways, guys, we're actually at the mall today. It's connected to the Bass Pro, which you guys can see Outdoor World right here. We're gonna be going inside. We're actually getting some stuff today for some sort of topwater video. We're gonna be going down to Florida. So I'm hoping to get on a good topwater bite. So we're gonna go in here, look at some of the topwaters, and see what we're gonna be doing today. So let's go ahead and go inside. Norm, what are you doing, bud? <laughs> you definitely got to slam it, but I, I don't suggest you do that. This is totally broken before I got here. This wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you definitely have to slam it. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're good. <laughs> what, if they, what if they like actually left the key in it and you just start whipping it around the mall? Sitting <laughs> here like in the glove box. So I put in two wheel drive or four wheel drive. <laughs> Put that thing in sport mode. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boy, let's go. Let's go before you get us in trouble. <laughs> Yo, look at that man up there. He's just chilling. Look at this man. Look at look at the guy. No, above your head, bro. He's just chilling. It's a squirrel. It's a squirrel. <laughs> Out here inside of Bass Pro, we came at the perfect time to be honest with you because there's not many people in here. But uh, yeah, it is. So you guys are both repping. Time. Look at this. Norm put his green off for the kick in vid, boy. Yeah. Ada with the merch. If you guys want to check out the merch, it really supports me, guys. It helps with the travel trips like we're on today. 30% off. You can check it down below. Go peep it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Looking sexy. <laughs> so we need to look for some top waters, okay? Oh, here's so. Here. That's not no top water, boy. What it you is saying? what you want it to be. Dude, it, back it is what you want it to be. Chatter bait, though. That would probably yeah. be solved. Oh yeah, it kills it. That is unbelievable. 7,400 yards of line. It's bigger than my head, but not bigger than my brain. <laughs> Dude, that is ridiculous. Here, how many, wait, how much? 7,040 yards. Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove it to him real quick. It's We're basically just... longer than a mile. Yeah, way longer than a mile. That's like, that's, three, seven, that's like three or four miles. 740 football fields. Wait, wait, no. Or is it 74 no. football fields? No, that's seven. Wait, how many? Okay, I've already <laughs> forgot the number. 7,400 yards. That's 74. No. Yes, that's 74 football fields. What pound test is it? What is the dude? Something just hopped on your shirt, bro. I'm just sitting <laughs> what, uh, what pound test is it? That is 30 pound test. 30 pound? Dude, that seems. Oh, uh, yeah. That's ridiculous. This is, Micah, <laughs> this is what I want for Christmas. Santa. <laughs> Hey, Sam. <laughs> you, should, you should go take it to him, sit on his lap. <laughs> I got exactly what I want right here. Yeah, he pulls out his wallet. All right, boys, so we looking for topwater lures, top and we water. just kind of stumbled upon a few. How about you go over a few of the... <laughs> this one is butterfly net. <laughs> Ow! No, That's not a butterfly net. That will hurt their wings. So we have whopper floppers right here. We got the big ones, we got the small ones. That's not the big ones. Yeah, I was about That's to say. A, no? Where are they, the bigger ones? They don't have the turbo boys. If we're gonna talk about turbos, man. Where is the squirrel? A squirrel? Dude, Where's there's the turbo. There's you know what's no funny is like YouTube squirrel. probably doesn't know that inside joke yet. So it's just like <laughs> going around. Everybody's like, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> but uh, we got some chug bugs. So that is a killer bait, dude. I've killed the spots. I actually caught a four pound spot and a five pound large mouth. I had one on each hook mm -mm, and mm -mm. I got it up to the boat and the spot came off, but I caught the largey. That was on Lanier. <sighs> Would be yeah, I know. It's crazy. But yeah, we got some whopper ploppers. We got some chug bugs right here. Um, some jerk baits. Shad wraps. Over here. Over yeah, here. we got some poppers. 
we got the prank, which is <laughs> the crankbait in a I've popper been mix. To try that, dude. That thing looks. Have you sick. have you seen any videos on it? Yeah, like, actually, I have. Like I've seen the action videos. It literally looks like a crankbait. And like whenever I fish a popper, I throw it out there. I'll pop it a couple times and I'll reel it in. But then it just kind of like barely goes under the surface. That's like a genius way to catch fish whenever you're reeling it back in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's true. I fish with them before. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is it any good? Yeah. So what I, I'd actually use it like as a crankbait, like just a normal crankbait. If I get bit, but he wouldn't take it, then I let it float to the top and I start popping it. Oh, like dude, that's actually so yeah. cool. That's like a dude. We gonna? Thing. I'm gonna have to go take one of these out. If you guys want to see me film a video over one of these, just like a little experimentation video, drop some comments down below, smash the like button, let me know. What type of lure can we make? where it's two different types of lures in the same one. That's a crankbait and a popper. It's so like a homemade build? What if we made a frog chatter bait? That's already been done. What if we made... Fratter bait. Fratter, <laughs> fratter bait, I like that. <laughs> I don't know, we gotta come up with something, dude. Like a, like a jerk bait and a worm. A jerk <laughs> worm. Oh, dude, you can, you can make a jerk bait and have a worm coming out the back. Jerk worm? I don't know about that one. <laughs> Jerk worm 5,000. <laughs> These actually can be like money. It's kind of like a, I guess it's like a kind of old old school well, lure, I guess. But you know they have the oh, Bangalore, like the horse. Devil's Horse. Yeah. And you guys know, or you know, you know, the Savannah River supposedly people, that's that's the... Oh, it's the it's the thing. It's, it's the go-to. But, um, like you know, if I thing. usually throw like prop baits, it's usually something like that. I actually have some um, balsa a, and I'm cedar ones. I'm a skinny type guy. Honestly. Like skinny ones? I like the devil's horse. Look I'm at that man. mega popper right there, dude. That's a big one. Yeah. You got some walking baits, got okay. some other poppers. Yeah. Look at that. That's like the their version of it. It's called the Chapo. Ooh, the Chapo. I like that. El Chapo. <laughs> El, El Chapo. I got a tool. It's a tool. <laughs> a tool. I got a tool. I got a cool fishing lure to show you guys though. Look at that. It's called the Frog R. I think it's top water. It's that is that is a top water. It's like a hard body frog. Yeah. I don't Speaking of frogs, where are the frogs, man? That that's the real question. I'm gonna be completely real with you guys. If I could pick like any top water lure out, it'd probably be a frog. What do you what do you think, bro? It's fishing. Like if you could fish with any top water, frog I will fishing. say it's like the most versatile. You can kind of throw it anywhere. But I do like fishing a popper, and I actually really like a buzzbait. Like a lot. you love a buzzbait. I bait. like a buzzbait. He fishes a buzzbait a lot. What about you, Norm? Like frog fishing? What is this? Is this a favorite topwater lure? Yeah. A uh, walking bait. You like a walking bait? Yeah. I, not. I'm not gonna say. It. I just like really enjoy frog fishing. No, you know it's what I mean? fun. Something Especially about frog fishing, like, is really cool. Ride. Let's go ahead and look at the frogs. Maybe if we find some interesting. What? Uh, I found a frog. Kind of. Kind of. I look at that thing. I've never what the seen heck that before. Is that? That might need uh, like a video just on its own. Look at that sometime. hook. Yeah, look at that. I, I bet that's these so legs, weird. I think they... I'm scared about the hookup ratio though. Dude, that's hard. I guarantee you that thing goes. Like oh yeah. See that? Or like a, no, it's like like a, a jitterbug. That's probably what it's like. Pretty cool. Can I get it? I don't Where know. We gotta look at the normal frogs, bro. Normal. Yeah, we gotta go on Santa Claus's lap for you to get that, and I'll buy it for you. Ooh, that's a, that's a tough bargain you're right <laughs> You guys found the frogs? Holy dude, we this did. is a frog wall. I'm actually impressed, Bass Pro Shops. This is what you call a frog wall dude, right I here. want this frog wall in my dude, own tackle the spiders, shop. Dude. Oh, they do have this. Oh, look at the, dude, look at the green one, bro. Kicking green, you gotta pull that guy out. Oh, look at all of these, dude. Dude, there's more right there. They have five different colors. Oh my god. Dude, look at the kicking black. green. They don't have like a black widow color. That's what I have. That's the one I use for my Ooh. video. I'm sorry, everybody. My favorite is a. Uh, where's it's the popping this one right, <laughs> this one right here. My favorite top one we were to pop and pickle. <laughs> I had somebody tell me the that they loops. couldn't find the pop and pickle in a store. And then. They actually thought it was called a pop and pickle. It's not. So they're asking all the employees, <laughs> where's, yeah, where's the pop and pickle? Oh my it's god! It's not called a pop and pickle. So it's not actually not called a pop and pickle, but good that's, shot. That's good, good, good try, man. Yeah. Yo, what is that? Yo, 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 yo. I, I actually did. I see this. I think I filmed this. Was it at this Bass Pro? Dude, I saw this at one of the Bass Pros. I thought it was yeah. so neat, and I didn't really want to do. Dude, look at that. Did you literally get six of them right there? How much is this? Mm -mm -mm. Thirty dollars. That's, that's that's actually five dollars a frog. Yeah, that's, that's not actually too bad. cheaper than most frogs. Yeah, because they sell most theirs, and that's plus. their brand, and they sell it for seven, seven bucks. bucks. So yeah. five bucks for a frog. That's pretty cheap. And look at that. You got all different colors in there. Look that is actually those really. Those tails are. That's some yeah. of the longest yeah. tails on a frog. Those I've are ever gonna. Seen. Have well, you gotta trim it. Yeah, I'm running it. I'm running it. 
fresh out the package, baby. <laughs> fresh out the package. Do you really? I'm not trimming it. You don't trim it? Oh, I normally do, but not for this. If we're fishing with these top water, I'm not trimming it. Just wait. Do you guys actually want to do a kit? I, I wasn't gonna yeah. do a kit, but so out of all the top waters that we just saw, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like at least me personally, the most exciting one, and probably for you guys to watch too, for me is frog fishing. Um, if we came over here and we did a specific frog, I'd probably want to buy three of them. But if we do get the kit, we get six. We get six, bro. So if we end up breaking Four. one off, we got backups. So and they're different colors. What's better, three or six? I think six. I think six, bro. I, I want the six, kit. Bro. You want the kit? Seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. That's also a good point. So we get in the kit? Is that yeah, what we do? Getting it here. Wait, we all you get buy a kit? this. Oh, you got your oh. wallet. All right. All right. I'll so, buy it. Wait, here. Here's one for A Dog. Oh, we're all. Oh, we all getting a kit. Oh, yeah. Right? So, That's so we, what you said. So we get 18? 18 frogs, bro? <laughs> <laughs> we go, we have, bro, we about to. Well, I'm using kickings, no, no, no one's buying it. I ain't buying you a kit. Video, boy, I'm a boy. There's six. But I want one, dude. <laughs> I don't know why this is my new. Norm to always say, does this. One. He's like, oh, Noah, dude, please, I, I really one. want it. I don't know why. He's that. like a little kid. He always goes up to me. Noah, can you please buy it? Santa. Santa. Yo, Santa. <laughs> Santa, no one will get it for me. Yo. Santa. Where you at? No, that's not Santa. Wrong guy. <laughs> he's eating some. Oh, he's teasing his homie. All right. Anyways, guys, I think we're going to go with this Kermie frog kit right here. It's got six frogs. I think it's going to be perfect. We'll catch you guys at the lake. Okay, folks. Out here at the lake. Got us some Kermie frogs. You're going to catch some uh, smallmouth? Going to catch some big old smallmouth up on Lake Erie. <laughs> you know, they're out here. Out here on the bed. We're out here flogging for them, trying to catch a couple of them. We're going to throw our frogs. Got to choose our selection. What would you like, Norm? Uh, I think I was given one of the black ones, correct? So this is what I'm thinking. So since, so if we look at it, guys, yeah, look at this. we got probably, we got one, two, three, three greens, one yellow, and like two blacks, and one of the blacks has like chartreuse tails. I'm thinking one of us should throw a black one, don't you agree? So yes, if, if I'm going to be real, I'm probably going to throw just the normal, natural green one. It's got to have the kicking color, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. That one's pretty good. Color. I'm not going to lie. And then one of you guys should throw the black, and then the other can just pick whatever. Because, I mean, it could make a night and day difference. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. I don't care which one I throw. Give me a frog, and I'll put it on my rod. Well, froggy. <laughs> you broke it. Yo, this kid is actually awesome. <laughs> Dude, so cool. Look at that. Here's your frog. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, boys. So we gonna trim him up. A Dub trimmed his up. I don't know what Norm's doing with his. Okay, boys. Let's catch us a bass. You better get your big bass energy on, folks. Here we go. I cut him a little short. <laughs> I cut. I messed up, bro. It's not, honestly not that bad though. Look, it's just a little too They're short. A little short, but it'd be fine. All right, baby. Let's get it. What? Oh, are they schooling? <laughs> Some schooling frog bass. Oh, dude! Bro, that was wild. Dude, he hit it though. That was, look at the bait on the bank to the right. Oh my gosh! I guess I don't. Yo. Gosh, that was a giant. Oh my God, he's still hitting it. The frog's got too much water in it. Yo, Norm, that was a giant, bro. He hit it twice. It's got too much water in it. Oh my gosh, there's no way. It's been a long time since Adam had that first bite. Finally get a good bite right there and he just completely doesn't eat it. I don't know if it's because it's a green one. Maybe they want like a black one or a white one. Oh my God. God, I'm not trying, this is a giant. Yo, Norm, come here. Gosh, Gosh. solid three. He ain't even that big. Look at him choke it too. Mm. It's only about two pounds. 
thought he was three. Oh, dude, it's gone in the back of his throat, too. Look at that. Gone, homie. Let's get it. Look at that. Right in the back of his throat. Look at that, boys. First fish today just munched that frog. I mean, dude, that's how you want him to eat it right there. When you're frog fishing, if you see one eat it like that, that's a good sign. I had a two couple bites right before that, and then this one I had to hit it like three times to actually eat it. But uh, I was popping it really fast. Beautiful little two pound bass. I thought he was a lot bigger, but that's a pretty one right there. First fish today, baby. All right, Norm, it's your turn, man. Pretty bass. Come on, Norm. Get hyped, bro. Right here, I'm holding my, all right, here you go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Here you go. Let's go, homie. Fish bump. All right, boys. Well, we got the monkey off her back. That's what we needed right there. That was just a couple casts after that big one hit me. And uh, gosh, I wish I would have got that good one. But when you start off first fish of the day, it does not matter the size. And you just got to get that first one on the bank. You know what I say? Look at that. I spooked fish right in front of me. That's probably that big one that ate me a second ago. Oh, let's keep moving. Oh. Nice. Oh my god, one just hit bait out of the water. Oh my god. What in the heck's going on? What in the heck's going on here? They're popping up everywhere. They're just not eating frogs, guys. Like this time of year, we. That's a good one. Look at that, right in the top of his mouth. Everyone said they're not eating frogs. <clears throat> it's two and a half pounder. Boom, baby. Look at that, it's schooling in front of me. Look at that. Boom, just came right out. That sucker nailed it. You just gotta act like it's a bay fish. I'm telling you, this time of year with the frogs, man, it's really not this time. We're being stubborn. We're trying to do the impossible right now, but we're still catching them, man. All right, boys, so there we go. Another two pounder on the frog. Like I said, it's, it's tough right now. It's not, you know, we need to be throwing like a fluke, a trap chatterbait anything that really imitates that shad but we're throwing a frog so um, we're gonna keep covering some water see if we can catch some more that's a beautiful one right there look at the colors on him oh yeah there you go well boys that is two fish on the old bass pro shops kit frog right here i don't know what norm and adam are doing over there but look at the teeth marks on that sucker already the one bad thing about this frog i will say they're not the best i mean they they hold a lot of water I mean, even, you know, almost every catcher. Oh my gosh, did you see that? That is a massive blow up, but uh, ooh. But yeah, they hold a lot of water. You're having to squeeze that thing a lot. That's one thing I can tell you. But um, what I'm doing with this is I'm just covering a bunch of water. I mean, I'm walking and casting, that's all I'm doing. You know, I've talked about that in a lot of videos, just walking and casting, covering water can be one of the most important things to catch more fish wherever you're at. And um, that's what I was just doing, you know, popping this frog along this grass. It's hard to see. You guys probably look like I'm just throwing in open water, but there's a ton of grass right here and it's just below the surface. Yeah, so we're over here popping this. I'm telling you, if we had a little shad bait, it would be game over. But uh, maybe we'll catch a few more on this and pull out something else to show you guys some big ones. That should be it right there. Yep. God. That was such a soft bite. It's underwater too. See, see what I mean? He gets so much water and he dove right over. That was the softest bite. He like barely, it was the most subtle dive over I've ever seen. I felt that right there. Come on. Oh my God. Oh. That's a big one. Three pounder, I think. I he was... Holy cow. <clears throat> That's almost a four. <laughs> Dude, he creamed that sucker. Look at that. That's almost that's about a three, three and a half. That's a good one, man. That's a three pounder all day. Look at that right there. That's a beautiful fish, solid three. We're upgrading every single time now. We're gonna get a weight on him. You guys love the weights and we can do that. Whew. All right, there we go. Zero, Zero it out. out. Yes, sir. 
Let's see what she weighs. What you think, Ada, before I go? Three and a quarter? Um, Maybe three. I don't know. Turn it to the side. I think three. She's not as fat. Three pounds, three ounces, so about three and a quarter. Yep. She does have a nice frame on her, though. She's oh, yeah. just not fat, you know? Yeah. That's a beautiful fish right there. If that fish had some more meat on her bones, she could totally be a four pounder. That's what we're coming here for right there. That's a beautiful frog fish. This one slammed it. I started walking it right here in this calmer water. You guys can see in the distance all that wind. When you come in more of this calm water with a regular frog like that, you can catch them. There we go. There she goes. Let's go, boy. Let's go. There's three of them. Now I'm done with all you said. All you wanted was my bread.